what is happening YouTube, Quinny, Craig, Super Quintendo, Quinny Potter, all of the above. I'm here for pickups, yes. I've got more videos to do other than pickups, but I'm doing all right at the moment. The mountain up, so I had to film because I'm going to be moving some on, etc. So yeah, here we go. We've got a mixture as well. I'm really not prepared for this. Because I usually write down a list of YouTubers that I've been watching and I know I'm going to forget some people. I've got a massive LED halogen backlight as well. Halogen. LED halogen. I've got <laughs> no such thing. I've got a massive LED floodlight to the back as well that I use for work. For like in lofts and underfloors, inspection light. But I'm going to put that there because it's quite dark in here at the moment but it's blinding me. Try not to look it. So yes, what do I have for you guys? I'll mention tubers in a minute. Let me just roll these off. I've got Marketplace. Do no care Marketplace. I've got Carboo. I've been back to the Carboo. First one this year since they opened. I've got Argos. I've got CX. I've got eBay. I think that's it. No charity shops. Still not open, Amy. Weird. I bet a lot of people are managing to go to them and none. Nemi are open. Right, you'll have to bear with me with regards to the memory of what I've been watching. Right, I have been watching. I've tried every day. I've got, you know what it's like. You have a watch list as long as your arm. Um, Retro Red Steve. Retro Reclaimer, Kieran. Uh, Gas said, I've seen one of his recently. Um, who else? Hyper Trigger X. Um, who's that? That's Dylan. Roller X car. It's Eddie, yes. Who else have I watched? Lad Up North. He's one I've discovered new recently. I don't know his name, but I've been watching his stuff. He's done a pickups video. Ah, that's just reminded me there's a game that he picked up that I've got as well. And I haven't got it here. It's downstairs. Uh, who else? Holly. Of course. <laughs> Interghost. Shocks, lots of them. There's loads of them. I apologise if I haven't mentioned you. Matt, Metropolis. Right, let's get into these pickups. Um, the first one that I don't actually have with me is uh, The Last of Us 2. I got the one from Shop 2. It came with the little pack of guitar picks. I've literally just completed that two nights ago. Yeah. I've been chatting with a few uh, YouTubers, Dylan and Lee. Um, you've been gamed. You've been gamed. No. Flaming hell, my memory's shot. No. Lee, you all know Lee. Not calling all nerds. Mm. Lee, he's changed his channel that many times. I can't remember what it's called. I've been chatting with Lee and Dylan uh, regarding. The Last of Us. And yeah, and a bit of a roller. Oh, and also Retro Chef Lee. I've been chatting with him as well. A, a real roller coaster of feelings this game, this second game. I've come to the conclusion I really liked it. I loved it. The end. I hated it part way through. You all know exactly which part. Well, not part way through. Literally the beginning. A couple of hours in. Um, and then I just came to love it. Yeah, it was 32 hours I clocked up on completion, I believe. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to move on to next because I've been playing that like three, four hours every night. So we will see. I feel like I'm going to go back to Link's Awakening on the Switch. I haven't touched my Switch in weeks, months even. So yeah, I need to go back to that. And there's a few Switch games I want. I've been seeing in people's videos. So, yeah, I'll maybe go back to the Switch. Let's begin with these pickups. I'm going to start with Kabu. Random one, not video game related, but game related. Cluedo. I'll get this one out of the way first. I'll, I'll always be on the lookout for board games. I love board games. And this caught my eye because um, us as a family, we've just got the junior one, you know, because the girls, they're just young girls. So we enjoy playing the junior one. Um... But I feel like they're ready for a step up because they fully understand the whole junior one and how it works. So we're going to try and give this one a go. 
and this one you get like the little uh, metal figurines it's all complete but you get the metal and this yeah it, it, it caught my eye because of how old it looks there's no age on the box but it looks it looks really old uh, it's all complete you could tell they looked after it oh, i'm gonna make a mess here now see the little metal figurines they're really sweet each character um three quid of course i looked on ebay it's the first thing i do and they're going for like 15 quid on there so not a bad buy that's to keep though i'm not selling that one that was oh man so yeah the car boot gets there at 20 past six full fields were full i love this sunday i didn't expect expect that though at 20 past six i'm walking around and i'm speaking and i'm, I'm walking around and i'm seeing DS games, Wii games, PlayStation 1 games, but all like sports titles. And I'm asking the question, do you have any more? Oh, I did. They have sold them all. And it's like, oh, no, I'm too late. I'm too late. So they were there to be had. I just was too late. At 20 past six, so I thought it'd just kind of be getting going. Clearly not. So, yeah, a bit gutted about that. I did get some bits, but at one point I thought, I'm not getting anything here. And I've come at 20 past six. So that was a bit of a downer. I'll show you what I did get. Um, I started slowly picking stuff up then. This was, th that board game was like my second pickup. This was my first pickup. It stooped as low as getting a Michael Jackson album, but there's reason behind this. Of course, it's a jewel case. I got this for a quid. <laughs> but I mean, I actually love Michael Jackson's music and I'm like, ah, it's actually a really good album. So I'll just put this in the broken case that I decided to swap out for one of my jewel, jewel games so that were a quid and I, I, I put that in my bag and I'm like I feel like that's the only thing I'm gonna get uh, I came across a guy with like four or five PS2 controllers checked them all out individually um, a couple of them rattled CX don't take ones that rattle uh, I played with all the buttons and everything this seemed like the most decent one two quid for that I get trades for seven, but I'm going to keep it until I've got a console. Uh, more stories in a moment on uh, PS2s and CX, yes. So then I continued going around, came across... Right, I feel if you're going to look at you need to know your PS2 at the moment. Because my uh, PS2 and PS3, my Kabu had loads of PS3. And I just don't know the prices for PS3 games. And there's a bit of money in, in some of them. Um, this is the one, which did I get? It was that, 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 and that. So this is the first guy I came to, and Xbox, I don't have a clue, I just took a, a flyer. This guy, he had loads of Xbox 360 and PS3 games. And um, I'm like, how much are your games? He's like 20p. S <sighs> Granted, lots of them were sports titles. I just picked three out that. I thought, I don't know, I don't know why I went with three and not five because I had a quid, I don't know, I just grabbed these three, I was rushing really because I wanted to get to the other songs. So first up we've got Resident Evil, I'm not sure CX guys, I'm sure it's more than 20p, uh, Resident Evil 6, uh, I got Resident Evil 5, I always feel like there's money in Resident Evils, I might be wrong, I'll have a look. And then last but not least, I know there's like seven quid in this, Red Dead, Redemption, no manual. Um, 20p, it were a bit of a no-brainer. So those three for 60p. Then I came to another guy. He had an Xbox on the table and a Wii U. And I caught him quite early, like him literally just putting stuff on his table. And um, he pulls the Xbox out and the Wii U. Uh, the Wii U had Mario Kart, but it was the the game wasn't in the box so i figured it was in the console i'm like how much do you want it's like 40 quid which is a good price for a wii u but it's one of those where i will literally i brought 50 quid with me and that was all i wasn't going to just blow 40 quid on a console that i didn't know if it worked it didn't it was dirty it looked it seemed better days no scratches on the screen or anything all the hookups and mario kart just one game of it i imagine mario kart would have been in the console he were like it works but I didn't, I didn't risk it. And then he had an Xbox again. I didn't want to buy the Xbox because I wasn't sure. He had four games. Two of them were like driving titles. And then these two. 
I just assumed there were money in GTA 5 and Lego Movie and two quid each on those. Um, I, again, I, I feel like I'm... I've checked CX, but I can't remember. I feel like I'm, I'm going to do okay for trade with the manual. And, and of course, you've got to be careful with this game because it's a two-disker. They're both there. Um, I think GTA for the 360 still trades for uh, about eight or nine. I'll try put like little comments in of how much they do trade for. Um, and then a weird, well, no, oh, the same store as Cluedo, I got a uh, Spider Man on Blu ray. Now, I don't usually pick Blu rays up again because I don't know the cost of them, I don't really collect Blu rays. But I love this film, and I figured if it doesn't trade in, it were only a quid, if it doesn't trade in for much, I'll just keep it because I, I enjoyed this film anyway. So, but I think it does four quid, so. I may just trade that, I'm not sure. And then the last one was a weird one. This was one where it's where you come across one of those boxes full of games. PS3, PS2, and on top, on first glance, they look like they've been there for centuries. All the PS2 were like faded and you're like, Ugh, there's not going to be anything in here. But it was like near the end of me leaving, so I thought, I've nothing to lose, I'll just have a dig. And it paid off, like... It was a really deep box as well, and I was like, we're well, pulling them out. I'm like, you don't mind, do you? He's like, no, because I'll put in just piles to the side. And I came across these three that I thought maybe, again, it goes down to the knowing your pe you've really got to know. your you. If you're looking for trade, you've got to know what trades on the PS3. I just took a flyer on these three. Um, pound, again, a quid a game. The Godfather. I don't know why I thought there would be money in this. But it turns out I think there's seven or eight quid in this. Um, little, little Big Planet two again. I just assumed, but I think it's about four or five. It's not much. No manual with that. I just assumed it would be a good spinner. I don't know. And then the best one of the lot, I suppose, is the I don't know. It's essentials though. <clears throat> Should have brought a drink. Here we go. It's from last night. It's Essentials. And I mean, I, I imagine it'll still give me the same. Um, Mega Drive Collection on the PS3. The ultimate Mega Drive Collection with Manuel. These are really good. On all of these, I checked all the discs. They were good. So yeah, I think this one does a tenner trade. Either way... Um, either way, that's my car boot haul. I'm going to take them to CX, all of them. So what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quid. Uh, 10, 11. 11 quid. I, I, surely I should get 30, maybe three times my money. I would hope. We shall see. Now, Marketplace. Yes, let's do this Marketplace one. This I literally just got last night. Guy posts up. you got to be quick on Marketplace, of course. You know that guy posts up a lot of PS4 games. Usually I just flick past because I, the ones I tend to click on, they want in 10, 15 quid a game. A few games caught my eye. One in particular, because my daughters have been asking me for it because I missed the free download when it was on for free download. Sims 4. I saw that and I just thought, oh, I wonder how much it'll be. And I quizzed him. And I'm like, uh, how much for the games? And he's like, make me an offer. And I thought, oh, what? make you an offer. So I said, um, I said a fiver for Sims. And he said, yeah, fine. Do you want any more? So I had a look. And there were three more. I, obviously, I had a look at CEX. How much these were trading for. And I paid a fiver for four. Five pound per game for four games. I paid 20 quid for these four. So Sims 4 keep this one for the girls they've been wanting this for a while <clears throat> need for speed payback know nothing about the need for speed series on the ps4 i got off need for speed ages ago not interested but it pays 13 quid i believe at cx so that's a good one gta of course i knew there'd be money in that i think it's 12 maybe 
um, with a map and everything, so that's good. And last but not least, this is a keeper, and I never even knew, which takes me back to this, weirdly. Carbu Marketplace. Odd. I never even knew there were one for the PS4. I knew about the PS3 one. I'd have got this ages ago if I knew. Turns out I got it for five quid, so made up. This sells for 20 odd quid in CEX still. And it trades, it's irrelevant what it trades for because I'm keeping it anyway. But he's kept me in really good nick and it comes with a poster. I'm going to try and insert a video here. regarding this game you'll see in the video of um so the menus i've never bought like a compilation for the ps4 and i thought i wonder how the menu set out is it going to be set out like because i don't have the mega drive mini so this really this really brought me do you know came to my attention i was like i don't have the mega drive mini i never bought that so i will actually play this and i've already played a few games on it um, so I, thought, I wondered how the menu would be laid out. Would it be laid out like the NES or the Super Nintendo, you know, where the games are scrolling around in a circle? No, completely different. You start the game up and you're in like a, an 80s, 90s bedroom and all the games are on a bookshelf, literally like that. And you just scroll along the bookshelf, pick a game. Like I say, I'll try and set a video and show you. But the poster, double sided. You got the Streets of Rage and you got Golden Axe. I'd probably have the Streets of Rage on show, to be honest. That's the game I played last night, testing this game. I played Streets of Rage. I played one that I've never played before and I was going to buy, and I probably still am because it's a decent game, Comics Zone. You know, side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up, I suppose, where you're jumping through different segments of different kind of comics, um, fighting enemies that were decent, played pretty well. It seemed really hard, though. It didn't take long before I died. <laughs> So that was one um, marketplace pick up for them for 20 quid. Made up with that at Cena's. That by itself goes for 20 quid. So that was good. Another marketplace one. This one I wasn't so sure about. It seemed a lot and she wasn't budging. £50 she listed these for. Um, I'm going to trade them. So I'm going to make. I think it comes in at. I paid 50 quid. I think it comes in at 110 a trade, but I'm still not happy paying 50 quid with myself. I picked them up and I thought, yeah, okay, they're good, but I'm not. I should... I'm a bit annoyed. The 50 pound was in my eBay and I was saving it for a game. It's money I'd made from um, selling alarm bits. So, I mean, it wasn't out of my pocket, but I was kind of saving for a particular game and then this came on Marketplace and I thought, it's 50 quid. I've got like 65. I'll just draw the 50 quid out into my bank. Boom, done. Did that, and I suppose I've turned the 50 quid that was in my eBay, or I'm going to turn it into 110 of CEX, I suppose. But the bonus you get with eBay is you know, you, you get what you see. You see, actually, you don't have a Fleming clue, it's ruler in it. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> so two consoles <clears throat> they are uh, DSi XLs. I'll save those to the end. And a bunch of games. I'm going to fly through these games. They're all really cheap ones. Um, you could tell <clears throat> they belong to a two daughters, these DSIs. Bad thing about doing this is coming home with a bunch of games in a bag. My two daughters are rummaging straight in them and they're like, I want, I'm claiming this, claiming this, claiming this. Before you know it, you've no games to trade in. <laughs> so they've claimed a bunch of them already. Uh, Tinkerbell. Uh, my Pet Dolphin. High School Musical. Smurfs. Uh, my eldest daughter said that's a really good game, actually. 
Nintendogs, these are going to go because they already have these and these bring about nine quid. You ever see any Nintendo games and they're a quid or whatever? Get them. <clears throat> Normal Tinkerbell. Another Nintendogs. So that's 18 quid with just those two, I suppose. Everything's rosy. <sighs> Hello Kitty. One and two. God knows. So then. They were the games. Um, and these were the consoles. Now, they're really good condition. The first one. I don't really own a DSi. Uh, no, I'm lying, I do. I've got the 25th edition, 25th anniversary Mario one. But I haven't got like a standard DSi. Um, but really, really, really good Nick these. You could tell she like really looked after them. The original styluses, which you very rarely see if you're buying DSs. And you usually see a lot of scuff marks on the front. And these are like really, really good nick. <clears throat> so yeah, made sure the serial number were there. Because they've rejected, CX have rejected one recently of mine. And the burgundy one, again, really good nick. Stylus. So two DSi XLs and I think there were fourteen games. I feel like there's a couple missing from that pile, and like like say my girls have claimed so for fifty quid. These I looked at CEX with regards to the grading. These are gonna go. Oh, they're really good prices at the moment, by the way. Forty pound. This should go for the discounted. Is I believe if it's like got cracks and scratches and the screen's got scratches and and they haven't these screens are like really good condition. I've kept these away from the girls, so that's eighty quid with the two consoles of credit, and then plus the, the games that the girls haven't claimed. Talking hundred and ten. So okay, I suppose, but yeah, it was the fifty quid that was I was kind of saving that that I blew which I was a bit disappointed about anyway the other marketplace ones done let's do some Argos pickups no oh wait CX from okay so in lockdown I took I went into my cellar I checked PS2s by the way because my brother-in-law brought me a PS2 round and I already knew I had a bunch of PS2s they had all the hookups and it were in really good nick I thought I'll just take it straight to CX Took it down and they gave me like 40 quid for a PS2. I thought, oh man, sweet. I'll look to see how many I've got. I had two more slims, two more fats. Took them all down there, cleaned them up. They rejected like a couple for like warranty seals. And then one of the, one, the flap on the mini wasn't like up to scratch and stuff. So I, I managed to get free sold. So like 120 quid. So with a credit, I've bought a few games. <clears throat> the first one being Mega Man X Command Mission for the GameCube. No Mega Man games in the GameCube, so and I feel there's only two. I believe there's two. I wanted to get them ticked off the list because I love my Mega Man games. Know nothing about this. Happy to add this one. Unhappy that it's not got a manual. And I think there's one more left in CX stock. So it's like it was only twenty twenty pound. It goes for more on eBay, twenty five thirty quid. Um, so I think I'm going to sit on this and just put the manual to like an added search on eBay and just hope a manual comes up by itself or a cheap copy of this, buy it and then sell this one on. Either way, I'm going to, I'm going to keep hold of it. I didn't do that with one of the other games. I got another GameCube game that was 50 quid and I, I took that back because it didn't have a manual. The next one. This is not a cheap game either, 45 quid. Dual, the only dual case um, entry of this video is Lomax. <clears throat> this can be a 50, 65 quid game on eBay. So I thought I'll tempt it with CX, they only had one copy. Disc, no manual. <sighs> one copy, there's no more in. Again, I could take it back. But this is in really good nick, as in the case, 
the game, the disc is like unscathed, unscratched. And the case is in really good nick. It's not one of these flimsy ones. Again, I think I'm just going to keep it and just add the manual to the list. Simply because there's no more in stock. So I can't take it and just order another one. I'll just get the same one back. So I'm going to keep them too. Um, next. Uh, Argos purchases. These are the last ones. I believe there's still a few to grab if you do some searching. There's still a few on there you can get. Um, these were the last ones I managed to get. We've got Chibi Robo Ziplash. Chibi Robo. Again, this one I'm not going to be playing, so this will just stay wrapped and go into the collection. Maybe one day. <clears throat> I have this. I think Chibi Robo was like two pound, two ninety nine something. This one was twelve ninety nine, but it was discounted from like thirty. If you look on eBay, you'd be lucky to get it for twenty, twenty five. It's Metroid Samus Returns. <clears throat> this came in a big box, special edition one. So I was look, I was happy to get this one for twelve pounds, simply because I know it's going to be one of those games in the future that either holds its price or it just goes up. So yeah, Metroid Samus Returns. <clears throat> Last but not least, Bravely Second. Again, I was lucky to get this one because a lot of the guys in the WhatsApp groups, YouTubers, they they didn't manage to get it. Um, this was a two pound ninety nine, two pound fifty one, and again, there's a special edition one of this, which leads me on to my next story. Special edition one is like a big box with a figure and an art book and a CD, <clears throat> and it was going in Argos for four quid, and you should see this special edition. It's nice. Whoever got that for four quid, happy days. If you got it and put it in your collection, well done to you. Um. So I managed to get this, but then I was looking at the Bravely Second Deluxe Edition and I was pining for it. I wanted it. I knew I wasn't going to get it for quid, but then Eddie, Roller X Car, said, you do understand all the ones that are in CX will be the ones that people will have bought from Argos in bulk, two, three, four of them, traded them in, so they'll be in really good nick. And he was right. So I... um. The day I took some PS2s down, I, I I sold them, I got my voucher and I had a look in store and they had free in store. I asked the guy, can I look at them, I'm a collector, I want like the nicest one. So I managed to get one, Bravely Second, End Layer, uh, Deluxe Collector's Edition. This is nice. And this is 28 quid currently. It's gone down. It was 35 when I was first looking at it. And then CX must have cottoned on to all the Argos low game sales. And they just started dropping all the prices of everything. So this dropped to 28 luckily enough. Um, and it is lovely. You get the artwork on the inside of the cover there. I don't know her name. I've started playing this game by the way. Um, I wanted to give it some time because it looks like a decent game. It looks like a kind of Pokemon... Um, esque uh, Final Fantasy type game as well this um, was opened, they have to open those they told me um, because they've got to check the carts in the 3DS which is just up there so I'm just going to get my sealed one put that in there the CD was sealed in one and then not in the other um, you get the little figure of not she's not called Agnes. I thought she was called Agnes. And Agnes, I Agnes, whatever she's called. Little figure of her. Which is cool. You get the soundtrack, which is sealed. And then so one of one of them, the soundtrack was sealed, and then the art book wasn't, and then in the other the art book was sealed and the CD wasn't, and then the third one, they were both sealed, so I opted for this one. And then underneath you get the massive flaming art book 28 quid for this unreal this is up there with like your uh zelda links awakening like special edition <clears throat> and bravely default the first one this their special that special edition currently goes for 150 quid so this is only gonna go up so get them while you can they're there they're in amazing condition yeah so i'd I'd recommend getting one. It's my first 
special edition 3DS. So yeah, happy to get that. Oh, and on the back, they were all a bit crappy like this. They look a bit water damaged, all three of them were like that. Just kind of tells you what you've got inside there. Um, made up with that, playing that currently. <laughs> As you can see, there she is. <clears throat> Last but not least, this is a NES boxed purchase, which I haven't done for a while. I collect loose primarily, but any games that I are my favourites that I like, I try get in the box. And this just came up randomly. I wasn't searching for it. Uh, NES boxed, um, and it's Bubble Wobble. I had this loose, but this came up and it was on an auction. I started watching it, and it went, and I put a cheeky bid in. I got it for twenty nine quid now. Min at CEX, this is 50 quid. Loose, it's 20, 22. I've put my loose copy up for sale. <coughs> but this is a minter, I think. I don't get why it wasn't mint. There's no creases whatsoever. It is, honestly, it's really snazzy. Um, I, what am I about? I don't get why it was mint. It wasn't from CEX. If it would have been in CEX, it would have been mint. Um... You've got your poly in the bottom, which you're not going to be... Yeah, you can see. The poly's in the bottom. The, um, the car. The manual. The only thing that lets it down... Manual's nice and snazzy. Is cords on the back. I'm not bothered about that. So, yeah. Really good game, this. We enjoy playing this, me and my girls. It's a fun... Just... It's a bit of a kid's game, I suppose, but it's, it's a fun, easy play. It's one you can just kind of jump on. Uh, just give it a play. And I've managed to pop it in the protector. And it looks as good as. So yeah, this can go on the shelf now. Wubble wobble. Good game. Heard it here first. That, ah, my legs, that is it, I can't feel my feet, I have more pickups coming, there's still the big purchase that I've been saving up for for the last two months, <laughs> I've nearly paid that off, that should be coming in the next pickups, <clears throat> um, other than that, that's it, this has been one of my longest pickups I've ever done, I've done quite a lot of years to be honest, so I'm enjoying everyone's videos, hope you're all good, hope you're all safe, thank you for watching, thanks to the new sub, Sam at 274 as of today, if I get to 300 I'm going to do a big giveaway, put loads of games in a box, send them to someone, so yeah, thank you very much and I will see you next time, peace.